Today I want us to explore something that a lot of people experience. It either causes some effect long term or people just experience it short term. PTSD. PTSD basically is a mental health condition triggered by a terrifying event. Either you witness it or you experience it personally. This has many triggers. We're going to explore that shortly. Basically, PTSD, it's been studied worldwide. Uh, people get affected by either experiencing a very traumatic experience, either in childhood, maybe say you were sexually abused, or you experienced trauma, witnessing violence, or wars, or anything that violates your peace. Uh, there's so many things, either, and sometimes it's work-related or probably trauma, violence, domestic violence, personally. So there's so many causes. Uh, so basically, some people, they manage to get out of it without medication, but some people, they actually experience long-term effects. This happens even a month after the experience or even after years of experiencing the traumatic experience. So what are the presentations people would experience avoidance or reliving the experiences, nightmares, terror, just, you know, the fear, the anxiety and depression, sometimes suicidality. Let's talk about people who worked uh, as soldiers in the wars. It's very common. We see a lot of people coming back from wars with PTSD or maybe you had experienced, um, say, burns or fire or probably death like it can be very traumatic even us as physicians there are physicians that have experienced ptsd and then unfortunately it basically triggers other things like you could easily be alcoholic from trying to numb the pain or uh, drug use so there's so many other coping mechanisms people use in this in the name of coping by the way not necessarily coping and some people they even go to a point where they actually, this affects their eating habits. People could get eating disorders. And of course, depression kicks in, anxiety. And the interesting thing about PTSD, it could actually happen even a year or even years after the experience. The fact that there's a trigger, you experience this, or probably you see someone you, or who had violated you, it's easy for you to be triggered. Or probably something like you see, even a smell, sense of smell. The sense, the fact that you could smell something that is similar to the person maybe who violated you, know, like perfumes, even foods. It's quite an interesting um, experience. So what does, and also people present with depression symptoms and or either abusing drugs. And like I said, people are trying to numb themselves. So how do we help people with PTSD? Honestly, it's a long-term thing. CBT, like cognitive behavioral therapy, has been found to help and continuous sessions. And of course, EMDR, which is the eye movement, uh, psychologists or uh, uh, counselors that do EMDR, they basically recommend it. And also flooding, just basically exposure therapy to the trauma. And it can be very traumatic because there's so much fear, right? You don't want to be triggered. You don't want to be or to experience the same or you relieve the same experience but it has been found to help people kind of survive and also uh, the symptoms to be less intense um, and of course they just the ongoing psychotherapy support family support and um, just to have that support socially is very fundamental so you guys you want to share below here have you experienced any PTSD or are you experiencing, are you living with PTSD? How are you coping? Share your ideas so that we can help others who are still struggling.